Hi, my name is Kaseya, and I'm going to walk you through my highlight video. These are some clips from my goalkeeper trainings. These are just some handling at a low pace in the warm-up stages of the session. I think that there is good hand shape here when I catch the medium height ball. Here we are at the end of the session practicing upper 90 and top hand work. I like this save in particular because it shows my extension and my ability to reach the higher balls. This is application off of a free kick from about 20 to 25 yards out. In this sequence, there is a corner against us. I read the flight of the cross and intercept it. I then spot my teammate and quickly play her the ball, trying to start a counterattack. Here, my defender gets a touch on the ball, creating some time for me to steal ground and close down the angle of the forward. I then make sure to get set for the shot. I think that this clip shows off my reaction skills quite well. In this clip, I'm caught out of position. I start to track back, but I see that the forward is going to shoot. So again, I get set for the shot so I'm not off balance. This was in the last 15 minutes of the game and my team was down one nothing. This was a really important save at a crucial time of the game and shows how I challenged the forward. I used to play at center back, so I know how to slide tackle properly. I took this opportunity to do so because I saw an opening and I knew I would be less likely to injure myself than if I were to go in for a block or a split save. In the next two clips, I'm watching the play develop and I see that a through ball is going to be played. Again, I'm not afraid to come out and go into the heart challenge to collect the ball. Here, I see my midfielder wide open, so I play her the ball and tell her to turn because she has a lot of time and space. In this clip, I see a gap behind my winger, who I know is quite fast, so playing over top of her and the defender makes sense so that she can run onto the ball. Here, I see a pocket of space beside my midfielder. I decide to play the ball into the space so she has more time. In this clip, I come out of my box to clear the ball, but I play it to the other side of where the pressure was coming from. After catching the ball, I play it in front of my winger so that her touch can be positive and forward. In these next two clips, I try to come out and play quickly after collecting the ball so that we can try to start a counterattack. Here, I see the amount of space my midfielder has so I play her the ball and tell her to turn. For context, this is in the last two minutes of the game and we were up one nothing. After making the initial save, I call off my defenders so I can shield the ball. I don't pick it up right away to kill some time. After the forward walks away, I see that my winger is wide open and play the ball to her. These next few clips show my comfort in receiving pass backs and moving the ball around in my own third when being pressured. Here, I see that everyone on the left side is covered, so I take a touch to draw the forward in to give more time to my player when I pass it back to her. I don't take the best touch here to switch the play, but I stay composed and don't panic when the forward starts to pressure me. 
In this instance, I play the ball in front of my player because I see that space has opened up. This way, she is able to turn and move the ball up the field. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it.